Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. I'm joined here tonight with Caleb. Caleb, what's up, buddy? What's going on, homie? What's going on? We're going to be checking out this uh, exclusive multiplayer trailer for Sons of the Forest, which is coming out next week, right? Uh, it comes out here in two days, I thought. The 20, yeah, oh. 23rd. Okay, mm -hmm. I am way off. So two days. A little bit. <laughs> Good thing I'm doing my research. <laughs> <laughs> two days. I'm doing, guys, it comes out next week. <laughs> yeah. It's like um, next week, it feels like. Yeah, basically next week, right? <laughs> I was going to say, welcome to all things nerd, talking about Scream. <laughs> yeah. That's like all we talk about now. Pretty much. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for Sons of the Forest. I know that um, we've been following this game for a long time now, you know, since the original. And um, they just came out with an exclusive trailer for the multiplayer, uh, which is going to be hosted by IGN. So we want to kind of look at the trailer, give our thoughts on it and uh, kind of talk about it. So you ready to watch it? I'm ready. All right, let's do this now. 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 I can already tell the visuals look so good already. <laughs> mm -hmm. Way better than the original. So they're definitely gonna have a cave system then. That's dope. Yeah, I hope so. That was the best part of the game. Mm -hmm. So one thing that I did notice, by the way, is the uh, logs. Obviously, how you can split them in half. Yeah. The first game, it was like one log would equal like one plank on the four. Yeah. But because you could split it, it counts as two different pieces. Ah, okay. So that's one thing that's gonna be really nice. So technically less materials to create what you were able to create before. That's gonna be sick. But I think now they have more of a snapping feature, which is gonna be awesome because then now things will be even. Yeah. <clears throat> that's gonna be cool. Just like chill with friends cool. around the campfire. Yeah. The stun gun that's freaking awesome. taser, bro. The little, yeah, the little stun baton. <laughs> Shotgun looks dope. Mm. That's gonna be super cool. <laughs> what is that thing? Holy crap. Look at that thing flipping. <laughs> pretty cool. What is going on? Oh, huh. snap. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, baby. I'm excited you know for that. what that ending reminded me of so much of <laughs> is um, what, what's his face from Adventure Time? The dog? Oh, uh, Jake. Yeah, Jake. It reminded me of him when he was like in his stretched out form. Yep. And he was like flipping around and stuff. <laughs> bake <a> pancakes, bake a bake a pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your... What's your initial first thoughts watching the multiplayer trailer and what are you most excited for about the forest, do you think? Um, I mean, <clears throat> I did see uh I mean around the fireplace, the the little um, campfire that they had yeah. was definitely more than four people. I could have swore it was only four people last time, unless mm -hmm. I'm wrong. But maybe just because I'm used to playing with like a small group like that we had. Yeah. But I could have swore it was only four players, so um, if that is the case, I'm excited. It'll be nice to be able to have another game, which I haven't had in a long while because every game, mainly Battle Royales, always decides to do the three player trios modes. Yes. And so I'm like, Apex. Which is, <clears throat> which is fun. Yeah, but I'm like, but it's hard because you want to play a game with more than just your two other friends. Yeah. Um, this will be a really great game to be able to play with more than just those two friends. Everybody can play. You know, more yeah. people can be invited. So that'll be awesome. Other than that, um, I mean, visuals look way better than the first game, but I'm just excited just to be able to play with like the new weapons. Like they didn't show too many on here. Yeah. Like they've always had the bow and arrow on there, but just to be able to use like, I know they have pistols, so you're not just stuck with just the flint lock. Like you're going to have, you know, um, I don't know if it was like a desert eagle or something that, that they had before <laughs> or like a Glock, but pistols, that shotgun, uh, new weapons, like the stun baton that they have. I think that's gonna be just the most exciting is just finding those new weapons that you can use. Yeah. But since they have what looks like the another cave system, I'm just excited to see what that's going to bring. Yeah, I was gonna say my 
I can't wait for the cave system. That that yeah. was my favorite <clears throat> thing in the last yeah. game. I mean, just being able to explore in there, like you would see the uh, it's like the six six or seven armed monsters that were like in the first game. Oh, gosh, like if that terrifying. looking dude is flapping around on like above ground, what's gonna be below? Yes, <laughs> that's what I want to know. <laughs> yes, yes, because it's kind of like. I feel like ab above ground, you only see like like you're saying, you only see the just a mm -hmm. little bit of it, right? I feel like when you go in the cave system and stuff, you're seeing the heart of it, and yeah. you're seeing like how these monsters and creatures and these mutated people live, right? In these tribes, and one thing I know that you, I think you mentioned in our last forest video we did um, that you can actually join a clan, right? In a different tribe, if I, I remember correctly. Yeah, I, I believe so. So like, if you saw the one guy that was like crawling away those are like different tribes that will like fight against each other and those dudes they don't look like they don't look like they're people that have been like mutated yeah those i think are just people that are just on that land they're just feral people but you can um i believe there's just different tribes where maybe like you can um you know kind of stick with one maybe there's like a rep system i don't know i haven't really looked into too much the info about that but i could have swore there was like something with different tribes where like if you're with one of them they'll start fending off other people with you or you know so on and so forth mm, okay but i think something like that would be awesome yeah i mean it'd be cool and i hope that there's going to be more customization for your character this time around because like if you join like a clan or a tribe or whatever it'd be cool to like have like their markings and stuff on your face or i don't right. know just like sport the tribe that you joined or, or loyal to right right like that would be really cool <clears throat> One thing I did notice um, just watching again is you have a GPS now. Yeah, that's going to be so cool. Instead of just, yeah, instead of having to like open your map or whatnot, you'll have an actual GPS. Um, I think in the second clip they had, I'm trying to see what that is. Because he's got something in his left hand that's like a marker, but it almost looks like it's a black light. Ah, okay. Something like, because something's like, it's like glowing blue. So. I'm not sure what that is, but did you notice around um if you notice like back in the cave, let me go back a little bit. If you go to like um I think it's around 10 seconds or 11 mm -hmm. seconds. So there's like there's like a there's like a, a marking on the wall where like this guy is trapped in like <clears> a cube. <throat> and I huh. wonder if that's just explaining cuz you remember in the first game when you find like the whole uh, underground like military bunker and mm -hmm. the experimental things. I wonder if that's just like a way of them trying to tell you like you know they're experimenting on them and all that right i don't know but i think that's going to be interesting i wonder if you're going to find like hieroglyphics around the map and stuff like that to like piece the puzzles together yeah i'm sure they're gonna have something similar to the first game um the what was it um i'm kind of like hoping to in the first like in the first game you had different armors like that you can create so you, you'd have like the bone armor yeah um there was like the lizard armor which was like the stealth armor that's some other stuff but i'm kind of hoping and then they had the heavy armor which was the um uh the skin from like the the big monsters oh yeah, had, yeah, like, yeah the heavy yeah. armor so i'm kind of hoping recipes turtles yeah i'm, I'm kind of hoping <laughs> um that the in this game i'm hoping that it's not just cosmetics um with like the the um chess rigs that they have mm, on okay i'm hoping that it's not just cosmetic where it's like okay well that's just the clothes you wear it has nothing to do with actual like uh plate armor or whatnot but i'm kind of hoping that they have something like that where if you find something you can wear that and that counts as armor but from what i see in the video most of them still had the regular um like the lizard armor or the bone armor can't wait for the uh season the battle pass every month of sons of the yeah. forest <laughs> With uh, flossing as the dance from like Fortnite your, or something. Yeah, you get your loot crates. God, I, I can already feel <laughs> like, but no, nah, I I trust in night they're not gonna do that with this game. I I yeah. hope not because I know like every game and company is jumping right. on board with that lately, and it's just <laughs> I pray not. I really hope not. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure they're gonna have some sort of DLC in the future <clears throat> because I don't think the first game had DLC because it was like their first game. No. So I'm assuming they're gonna build off this one a lot more in the future, because like, mm -hmm. what's next? So there's they've been the forest, sons of the four daughters of the forest. Like, you know, where do you go next after this? Like, I don't know. Yeah. And this game's been in development for a while now. Right. I mean, unless they add 
different DLCs, which I guess would be weapons and stuff that they have in the game. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if the first game had modding support, but I'm mm-hmm. kind of hoping maybe that's something that'll be different with this game is maybe they'll add some sort of like uh, modding support to it. So you can have Shrek versus Thomas, the <clears throat> tank engine. That's our train awesome. engine or whatever. I keep seeing people doing that with uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Yes. Like flying around <laughs> on a Shrek and then there's, um Toothless and uh, <laughs> some of the other characters like Mario playing around. That's awesome. Uh, that's uh, and people but, are uh, quick, dude, with mods. I just <laughs> I just think like a game like this would be one of the perfect games for mod support. Mm. Like if they if they don't have it, I think it would be one of the best games to have. Yeah. I mean, what communities could build off of? We've seen what modders right. can build, right? I mean, yeah. yeah, they build stupid stuff like Shrek and all that, but people who actually take time to build mods and stuff, like, they do some pretty magical work. Like, yeah. I am so pretty one impressed. I, one thing I did notice, actually, and I don't know if that's just something that was just kind of a coincidence, but yeah, one thing that I've kind of noticed is it seems like the AI system is definitely... Yeah, AI system is definitely a lot better. So if you go to... It's like a minute and 20... Just go to like a minute and 20. Um, but you can see them. They have more um, awareness where before they kind of just ran around each other. They might have like, you know, kind of um, crowded, crowded together. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of, I don't really know if you remember the, the Last of Us 2, um, where if you saw like any of the gameplay or the trailers, your character and the AI seem to, they navigated the world as if it was real. Mm, um, okay. where in the sense of like um, yeah most games like Last of Us 1 let's say you're, you're, you're running around one night you don't really interact with your environment too much yeah um, The Last of Us 2 was very much like you can interact with the environment where like let's say there's a desk you, know, you can slide under the desk you can vault over it um, you know you can vault over something while picking up a brick and like smash them on the head this game here looks like it has very advanced AI which is really cool to see compared yeah. to the first one but in that little clip right there like um, you can see them kind of jumping over them the first one jumps over the body and then the other one jumps over like one of the other monsters there oh gosh as if it's a little more realistic so i'm like so that's one thing that's just kind of cool to see is you know they're not just kind of like crowding together or running around each other it's this basic ai system like this one it, it makes it a little more realistic like people are just jumping over each other did you notice the uh at like one 130 exactly is that a zip line that they're adding into the game it looks, um looks like a zipline was... above the Jake dog monster looking thing. So they had a zipline in the first game. Mm, okay. I don't um, I just don't remember that. Yeah, it didn't go that far. Yeah, so it looks like that is a zipline that goes from one end to the other tree there. Hmm. And then I noticed on the left so that you were talking about the armor, that guy's wearing the bone armor. Yeah. Your companion so, or whatever there. Yeah, so that's what it looks like to me, is it looks like they still have the zipline because the zipline had to connect from like i think it was the starter zipline that you would build but it would connect to another zipline area that one actually looked like it connected just to a tree ah uh, okay so, so if they do do it that way i think that's a lot better because it's like why do you need to why do you need to add another zipline area yeah <laughs> when you could just tie that to a tree it'd be sick though so, that'd probably help you with like moving logs and stuff i bet right yeah right so i'm kind of hoping they change it too because the first one it was literally just a zip line that you mm. could just ride and it didn't even go that far either so i'm hoping this one maybe that they make it where you can actually go pretty far but also if maybe you can use that for transporting items yeah that would be sick and just like transport across the map or whatever you mm-hmm. need for your opponents or or yeah. maybe you're like in a bad situation like your <clears throat> buddy's like here you know zip line me some ammo or something i don't know right yeah you know <laughs> That'll be awesome. Yeah, I'm excited for this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Mm. Uh, do we know the price point on the game? Is it going to be $60, $40? Um, not sure if they have... They might have it listed on here. I'm assuming. I think, was, I think it's $30. Oh, 30 Wow, it's cheap. I th- could have swore. Dang. Um, they have it... They don't have it listed right now. Okay. It just says early access. So um, it actually says it's going to unlock in one day and 13 hours oh snap so <laughs> might have to play to, it tomorrow yeah. <laughs> so that's gonna upload very very soon so probably after midnight then um Dang. we're gonna have to stay start play. on the 23rd <laughs> yeah so. that's gonna be fun so that'll open up very very soon here just you know a little over a day 
Um, they don't have the price listed on there, but it, I could have swore it was going to be like $30. If it's anything more, I, I know it's going to be really good, so I'm still going to buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but, definitely want to support these guys for sure. Mm, I, I'm just excited work. to see all the new stuff that they have, but then also kind of have that same feeling that you got from the first game. Yeah, yeah, just capitalizing on what they already built yeah. was awesome. <laughs> yeah, and I imagine there's going to be bugs. I mean, that's why they said... I think that's pretty much why they said they were going to release early access. Like there's things to still polish and kind of like, you know, still work on. Yeah. But they didn't want to push the date back, which for me, I felt like that. That was kind of a poke at a, f <clears throat> a fantastic. Oh, for absolutely. Because <laughs> they were like, hey, so we're not even going to push our game back, though. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that smart of them. Funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think it'll be a good idea. I think most of it's probably all said and all said and done i think everything's gonna be pretty good for the most part from what we see in the videos yeah um i'm sure there's gonna be bugs that we'll see but you know that's that's honestly early if anything, access <laughs> honestly if, if anything too one it's early access but two that's pretty much any sandboxy type game you're, oh, you're yeah. always gonna have yeah. something go wrong and some of the glitches and bugs are always fun though like you always oh, gotta yeah. just no, laugh sure. you know <laughs> yeah well it's not like it's gonna be anything if anything i'm like nothing's gonna be as bad as cyberpunk oh yeah i agree like that game so <laughs> nothing can beat that release yeah if it's playable and you're getting more than you know 30 frames we're, we're good to go yeah <laughs> well shoot well any other final comments on uh, the force sons of the force i should um, say um i'm excited for it that's yeah that's about it <laughs> me too <laughs> definitely gonna be getting it I'm, I'm sure we'll probably like stream on the channel here uh if anybody want to hang out and just kind of like watch the game um other than that i will be just locked in my room here just playing this for hours <laughs> building the highest tower <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> so all right guys well i I'm, i hope you guys are excited excited as, as we are for the sons of the forest it released us here in about a day and how many hours you said two hours uh, i hours? said a day and 13. oh day and 13. Yeah, right, just, i'm off yeah, again it's like a day and a half don't listen to nathan he, th he yeah. i thought the game came out like next week so <laughs> you guys are all playing the game like what are you guys doing i thought the game right. came out next week <laughs> but uh all right guys well anyways if you enjoyed this video please like the video uh, as always subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you on the next one take we care will see you in our next video when we show you guys how to duplicate items in the forest yeah duplicate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> figure that out all right catch take care later. guys Peace. bye